made a video Jehovah Adam Cain and Abel got a response from a Jehovah's Witness uh, he's a frequent responder to my video so I appreciate that a lot uh, name of the uh, user is user's name is Diva Divala uh, once in a while you you'll kind of comment on my videos uh, somehow on the video that I made Jehovah Adam can enable our conversation turned into charity what your religion or my religion or my faith which is the Lord Jesus Christ what do we do in regards to charity to show love uh, somehow the conversation turned there. I responded to you by telling you that my church offers food pantries, financial aid, non discriminate. Muslims can walk in, atheists can walk in, Jehovah's Witnesses can walk in. Man, we don't even ask, we don't care. I hope, actually, if you're a regenerate Christian, that you already have Christ in you, you're probably less quali disqualified because. Uh, we look forward to seeing different faces and different backgrounds coming in because then we get the opportunity to share Christ with you. Um, we also have medical assistants. We have doctors within the church that offer free services. Man, we've got babysitting. We've got everything. We've got meals on wheels. We've got everything, dude. Uh, we don't ask questions. Um, if you got water bill problems or um, rent problems, just bring your bill. Show us proof and we'll pay it. Anyway, now. And then you try to explain to me what your watchtower does. And this is where I am just blown away. This is your terminology of... Uh, or this is your description of what the watchtower does for charity. Here we go. I'm going to read it word for word. You said, actually, yes, this is, you do charity. We help our brothers and sisters, and when you are, anyone in your church dies, who pays for it? So you're talking about, later on you explained to me, this is funeral expenses. The watchtower actually picks up the funeral expense of a dead Jehovah's Witness. Okay, and then you go to... The best way to help everyone, though, it's to tell them, the, them now how to do God's will. Okay, we still, you don't understand. It's not your deeds that gets you anywhere. Jesus did it all. All right, then I respond to you, something like that. But this is where you blew me away again. This is your latest one. You don't answer a simple question because you know the answer and you don't want to post it. Here, I'm posting it right now for you. So I'll answer it for you and everyone else, he said to me. The watch organization that you call evil pays for the funeral of brothers and sisters that die. That is a very loving arrangement. Does your church do that? Um, are you, this is where you keep forgetting when you tell me these things, that I know you're the institution from inside out. And I say this with all due respect, my friend. I know from inside out. Yeah, they have to pay the expenses for a lot of reasons. You can't leave a rotting body on the street. After the Weissar Institution has milked you dead and you've been standing on the corner of the street peddling their pamphlets and you're broke and you can't afford for your casket, yes, the least they can do is follow the health department code and go ahead and at least give you a pine box to be buried. That is an earthly way of looking at it. But I got a biblical way of looking at it, which is my wife read this email and she was laughing and she said, Honey, she said, Matthew 8.22. Let me read Matthew 8.22 to you. I'm going to start verses uh, 18. It reads like this. Matthew 8, 18 through 22. When Jesus saw the crowd around him, he gave orders to cross to the other side of the lake. Then the teacher of the law came to him and said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Verses 20, Jesus replied, Foxes have holes, birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to, to lay his head. Another disciple said to him, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. <laughs> Verse 
But Jesus told him, follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. Now I got a question for you. What does he mean when he said, let the dead bury their own dead? This is spiritual talk. Is that what you're telling me that the wash hour does? It's so spiritually dead. And it goes ahead and buries the dead. For free. What a perfect fitting. The dead burying the dead. And he called that charity. And I explained to you what we do for people when they're alive. Walking and when they're in need. When they can appreciate and feel the love of Jesus. But you're telling me. The best charity you can come up with. What Watchtower does is that. Once they milk somebody from their spiritual. And they suck him dry. Financially kill him. You're telling me when they contribute a pine box. To bury him in ground. You're telling me that's charity. 